What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I build my farmhouse DIY headboards. I first start out by grabbing some 1x6 tongue and groove boards and some standard 1x6 boards and start breaking them down into all the pieces I'm going to need for this headboard. All of the measurements that I will place in the description below will be based on a full size bed frame so just adjust accordingly to whatever bed frame you decide on using for your headboard. Once we are done with all of our cuts, you are going to want to lay out all of your 1x6 tongue and groove boards along a long table. Next, we are going to get some tight bond glue and a paintbrush and put glue along every tongue and groove on each board. Be sure that the glue is touching the entire surface of every tongue and groove section so that it creates a strong bond. And now I'm going to get my circular saw and cut off the end tongue off of the final board that we glued up. This will allow the board to sit flush with the rest of the boards that we attach to this headboard. Now I am going to grab my standard 1x6 boards and attach them to the front of this headboard. I decided to use wood glue and some brad nails so that there are no screws visibly shown on the front of this headboard, which will give it a much cleaner look. And when you are attaching these front slats, make sure that they are completely flush on both sides. And now I'm going to grab my 1x3 board that was measured at 55 and inches and attach it to the bottom of this headboard. At first I was only going to use some brad nails and some wood glue like I did prior, but since this is not going to be visibly shown to anybody, I decided to place some screws onto the bottom of this board just to give it some more strength. And be sure to use a countersink bit when placing these screws into the bottom board so that the wood does not end up splitting but also still leaves a smooth finish. And now that the bottom lip is attached, I am going to flip this headboard over and start attaching the standard 1x6 back slats to this headboard. These boards will be measured at 59 and a half inches and I will attach them a similar way as I did to the front boards. Since these boards will not be visible, I am able to put some screws onto these back boards to give it some much needed support. When you are attaching these back slats, make sure to leave a two inch lip on each side so that it will have enough space to attach to the legs. Since these boards will be flush against the wall, be sure to again use your countersink bit so that it leaves a smooth surface to sit against your wall. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other board. Be sure to leave a 2 inch gap on each side and also make sure that the top line is flush with the rest of these boards. Now I'm going to grab four 2x4s which were cut at 53 and a half inches and apply a nice coat of glue in between each board. I decided to sandwich 2x4s instead of using a standard 4x4 post because a 4x4 post seemed to be a little bit too thick for these headboards. 
And now I place four screws into each of these legs so that they act as one solid piece. You're more than welcome to place more than four screws if you feel the need to since these boards will be facing the back of the headboard and won't be visible. And now I decided to sand these legs prior to attaching them to the headboard just to make it a little easier to get all the sharp edges off of these boards. And make sure you sand the edges and also the bottoms of these boards since they will be sitting on whatever surface of flooring you plan on putting this headboard. Now I'm going to grab the headboard and start lining up these legs. Be sure that the sides that you place the screws on these legs is facing towards the back of this headboard. Now I'm going to grab my drill with the countersink bit and place three holes into the top and bottom of these slats. When you are attaching the legs to the headboard, be sure that the top of the legs are as flush as possible with the top of the headboard so that when we place the cap on the top of this headboard, it will be as flush as possible with no gaps in between. Once I am done attaching the legs to this headboard, I am now going to stand up the headboard and give it a cap on the top so it gives it a nice finished look. I used a 1x4 which was measured at 63 inches which gave it a small lip on each side of the headboard and towards the front. I went ahead and put a few brad nails on each side of this 1x4 so that it will not shift while I am placing all the screws into this top board. And now that I am done with the assembly of this headboard, it is now time to start sanding down the entire piece. I start out with 120 grit sandpaper and then make my way with 240 grit sandpaper to give it a nice smooth finish. I did end up sealing this wood with a few coats of poly, but after sanding it with 240 grit sandpaper, it should take any sort of stain or paint that you would like to match it with any room that you decide to put this headboard in. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and like this video, it will be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching my video, see y'all next time.